This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar exploring the new features in Apple Final Cut Pro 10 version 10.4. Hi, this is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to use the new Balance Color tool. One of the things that I have never liked is when Apple is trying to be helpful and they create these automated tools that automatically remove noise from an audio clip or automatically balance color or automatically match color. It gets about 70 to 80 percent of the way there and it's just useless. It's better than it was but it's not good and I've never been impressed with Apple's automated tools with maybe one or two exceptions. And Balance Color definitely was one of them. When you used Balance Color, it just, it was not close enough. Well, what's really neat is that what Apple has done with Balance Color is they've made a significant and absolutely critical change that make this usable. Let me show you what I mean. If I select this clip, Notice how yellow it was. Look at how clean it is. It's gotten better. It's maybe 80, 90% of the way there. But what they did is this. Under balance color, automatic is what we've had to work with in every version of Final Cut up until 10.4. But when we set it to white balance, which is new, we get a color picker. Click the color picker and click on something that's supposed to be white. Now you have to understand, white has a very specific meaning. White is any shade of black, white, or gray that's supposed to be black, white, or gray. And the reason is, if something is supposed to be gray, or white, or black, it must contain equal amounts of red, green, and blue. So this teletype machine is, is government gray. I don't need to click on an overblown window. You can't color correct that. You can't click on and blown out whites. That won't work. But I can click on a mid-tone gray. Watch the picture in two, one, woof. It takes out all the color cast, makes this gray gray, and suddenly a picture which was unusable becomes usable. This is so cool. Now, this is still a bad photo. The windows are still blown out. We're losing detail here. He's gone a little bit magenta in his skin tone. Well, it could be a better example. Here, for instance, she's got a white top, black vest. Select the clip. Go to our enhancement menu. Select balance color. Look at that. Is that a useless change or what? A little bit less green, but not useful. Change the method to white balance. Grab the color picker, pick something that's supposed to be gray, which is the ideal, or white or black, which is our second choice. Look at that. This is where we were. This is where we are. This, this is so much easier than it ever was before, and it, it works, finally. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar exploring the new features in Apple Final Cut Pro 10 version 10.4. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 241. By the way, membership is a great value when you need to stretch your training dollars. A subscription membership to our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only nineteen ninety nine. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.